All right, so now we're doing something different this weekend. Instead of doing salmon like we have been doing, we're going to be doing actually a couple things. Um, we're going to be doing swordfish, and I was planning on doing duck, but I'm going to actually do a spiral ham instead, smoked, and an apple, uh, bourbon, barbecue, brown sugar glaze. Um, swordfish all brined up, and we're actually going to be cooking shrimp with the swordfish. We'll get it brine it up, and get this thing cooking. This is the day before prep. Yourself a nice mixer. <clears throat> Brining process. Brown sugar, but I'm only using half because not a lot of swordfish. The rest of it's gonna go with the ham. Salt. Good music. Just like salmon, you brine it the same way. Salt. Mix it up nice too. <clears throat> See? <clears throat> so it looks like this. <clears throat> Put a light dusting on the pan. So now next thing you want to do is you want to add the swordfish to it. <clears throat> Look how thick these things are. Thick. So you got the swordfish like this. Now you're going to cover it with some brown sugar. Swordfish done, put a wrap, put it in the fridge.
Alright, so we're doing the swordfish and we're doing the smoked shrimp. Or the shrimp and the swordfish. So currently right now we have the smoker getting ready. Using my side door versus the going around back makes my life a thousand times easier. Got the chimney cooking away, heating up the coals to get nice and red. About to dump them in soon. Got to get this guy up to temp. It's cold out, so it's going to be a little, little pain in the ass today. But uh, we'll get there. And we'll start putting the food on. Uh, inside, what I did already, for everybody's information, is because I'm going to be doing ham and swordfish, and both of them use the same little ingredients: uh, basil with water and. Uh, butter in it so it gives it a nice sweet steamed flavor plus it also keeps it nice and moist too so that's sitting inside there we'll keep that sucker closed because it's about 30 degrees give or take 20 degree wind chill I definitely want to keep this thing warm and keep it going might have to add some more charcoal down the line but this is what we're looking at now and that's running nice and hot so actually right now we're going to dump this in always watch out with the ash on the ground it's always good to you know, pat it out, especially if you got leaves around. I'm going to dump that right in. Make sure it's all, that, all done. Put it to the side quick. Close the top. Got to get that heat going. Heat's got to get in there. Okay, make sure all that shit's padded out. That's it. Being it is cold and damp out, I'm not going to pre fill that thing until I really need it. Open my vents on the side. So heat starts going in, and temperature right now is cold, and uh, she's going to start moving soon. So now we're going to head inside. We'll start looking at what we got inside for the fish. We got to get that washed. We got to get it dried, and then uh, let it pat dry. It's got to dry for about an hour, so the fish is nice and tacky. The shrimp, not so much. Shrimp just needs to be, you know, you can pull it right out of the bag with all the seasoning and spices on it, slap it on the grill. So, we get that shrimp uh, when it's ready. Alright. Stop going through Fort Knox here. Alright. Alright, so, na so now we're going to start doing this, the swordfish. So, this is the swordfish afterwards. This is the swordfish after the brining process. Look at that. Looks good, right? Alright, so now with this, we're going to actually end up from here. We're going to now start washing it off and let it air dry because the smoke is starting to heat up. Steaks. Fish steaks to consider, yes, steaks. 
It's thick, very thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, we want to let that air dry. So we're gonna help it a little bit. Push down on it. Try to get the surface moisture out. Flip it over. Push down some more. Now that's all nice. Look at that. That's after it's been washed. So now I'm gonna let that air dry. I'm gonna get the smoker up to the top, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we go to put them on the smoker. And then we let it sit for about, about probably about uh, good 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna add the shrimp. So I get the shrimp all prepped. So that's where we are right now. Alrighty, so the, the smoker's up the tap, swordfish is drying out. I got my wood chips there. I'm gonna take this show on the road. Ah, there's my beer. Jeez, I couldn't find it. I got two cans of beer. Jesus. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Stay upright. Tripod my butthole. I got my wireless, my other camera here. So we're sitting about 250, is right where we have to be. What I got on me right now, when I find it, my wireless thermometer. I'm going to turn it on now. It's going to give me my current temp. So I turn it on. Oopsie daisy. Current temp, it is 30 degrees outside. That's how cold it is. So we gotta get the center of the swordfish at about uh, 150. Lift the top. Oh, nice. Stop falling over. Hand in my ass. Get the swordfish. Put it right on the grill, right on the smoker, right above the pans. Actually, hold on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I got one little important detail. Close the top back down. And grab some oil. I gotta cover these things in oil first so they don't stick. Got ourselves our cooking uh, olive oil. Cover the fish with them. That guy's covered in oil. Don't even brown. That guy's covered in some oil. One there. This guy's covered in some oil. Very nice. So now we're going to take and take my wireless thermometer. Of course, wraps itself around everything. And all the fillets are the same thickness, so it really doesn't matter. But I'm going to stick it in the middle of one of them. So it's right in the middle. Close our top down. Stick it right on the bottom. Jack Daniels, Mystique, Hickory, and um, a little bit of cherry uh, wood chips in there to get the smoke going. And that'll start bringing the temperature up as it dries. And then uh, what we got currently inside the fish fish is sitting at 48 degrees so it's got a little while to go to get to 150 and temperature has got to get itself cranked back up to uh, 250 to the optimum temperature but it's definitely going to it's definitely climbing slowly it's definitely going to keep doing it when you get the wood chips in there as soon as they get the dry off and they start smoking out then they start burning brings temperature back up they add a little bit of more wood chips and you just keep it going see you start see it ticking away smoke coming out the chimney 
Good sign. Let's start prepping that, that uh, shrimp. Alright, so now we got the swordfish in the smoker. We're sitting at 63 degrees on the smoker. We're about to bring out the shrimp. We're going to start getting the shrimp all prepped and ready. Because once that smoker is back to uh, 250, We'll toss the shrimp on there for about 15-20 minutes until it gets a nice pink, bright pink color. Right now it's like a translucent blue. Slash brown. Because it's sitting in marinara sauce. It's a special country blend. Um, what's actually inside of it is everything you'd use in chili. There's cayenne pepper, there's chili powder, there's paprika, there's uh, Italian seasoning, and that um, barbecue sauce and a splash of brandy. I don't know who puts brandy in their chili, but I do because I like to get drunk while I'm eating. It just makes it better. You just do two at the same time. You drink and you eat. It's perfect. Alright, so now let's flip the camera down and you're going to start seeing what we're doing here. Alright, so now we got ourselves a plate. Very good. Plate and sleeves that don't roll up. As you can see, it's got a bluish tinge to it. You're not cleaning it off. You're leaving it the way it is. You want it to keep that nice flavor that it's been soaking in. favorite song. Sound like a pothead every time I sing this. Smoking my homegrown. Drinking a big beer. Look at the shrimp covered in sauce. I got a full case of beer. Sit in the freezer. I'm gonna be eating this all night long. Wasted away in smoking food bill. Searching for my spatula love. Some people claim that there is a warm on the blame. Why I'm getting so fat. But it's all the delicious food. Alright. Enough of my horrible singing career. Alright, so now we're going to do a little, little temp check. So we got 72 on the swordfish. We're going to bring these guys out there. We're going to plop them on the top of the grill of the smoker. Where's my pocket? So this is the shrimp. Let's take a little quick photo. Marijuana whale. It's hard not to sing it. Searching for my roach clip on a roach. Claim that there is a warm on the blame, but I don't. Smoker through the door. As you can tell, my cooking section and my other can of beer. Alrighty, it looks good. Smoking away. So it looks like we dropped a smidge in temperature, just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little. Poor enough. Drop down a few. 
We're not at 250 anymore. Might need to look up more dry wood. Take a look at what's going on in the firebox. Yeah, she's got some wood in there. Definitely going to add some more for the shrimp. Whew. It's tough when you get smoke in your eyes. All right, so we're looking at 10.06. And the shrimp goes on there for about... Um, it sits in there for about... Uh, about 15 minutes, give or take, until it gets, uh, you know, nice and pink. Bring this up, let's see how the swordfish is doing. Alrighty. Swordfish looks good. See the white that's coming out? You're going to see that when you do salmon as well. So all the fat's coming out, and it's going to drip right down. So, sword, so the shrimp, we're going to put right on top. It's nice about having a second plate, second uh, grate. Is actually what's going to be nice is all this is actually going to drip right down onto the swordfish. So you're actually double seasoning your swordfish. Some nice smoky sweet flavor. And um, like I said, this stuff is all soaked in bourbon as well. So it's got a nice flavor that's going on with it. It might take more than 15 minutes. It's more or less once you get it nice and pink. And the way you can really tell is you get that thermometer out. You stick it in one of these suckers. It should be about be about 150 to 160, and that's when you know you hit a nice good temp. Anything more than that, you know, you're kind of just overcooking it. It's still edible, but it's still going to be a little overcooked. But it's not bad. It's better to be overcooked than undercooked, especially when it comes to seafood. It's funny they call it seafood. I see it, and it's food, but I can't eat it. All right, so that's what we're looking at right now. Got the shrimp up on top. Got the swordfish down below. We'll be closing the top, and we're gonna let that sit. And I'll touch back into you when we start getting some colors and some temperature differences. All righty. So I left the shrimp on there a little longer than uh, the 15 minutes. I wanted to get it nice and pink. See how pink it is now? It's not that bluish tinge anymore. I did end up coating it a little bit in. Um, the uh, glaze that I had, did make, but I know that they are definitely ready right now. So I'm gonna grab my tongs because it's easier with the tongs. Let's see, how do we do this? See, soon. There we go. So now they smoked for a little longer than uh, the time that they talked about, which was about 15 minutes until they're pink. But I wanted to get them a nice smoky flavor. I ended up putting a little bit of bourbon sauce on them. So now the shrimp is now done. It is done done. You know, it's been sitting on there for about a good 20 minutes, give or take. It's always better to cook something just a little longer. You don't want it too raw. You know, some people like stuff raw. I like stuff cooked, you know, especially when it comes to seafood. So I left it on there for about 30 minutes, give or take. And uh, it looks good now. It's nice and pink. So we're going to hit this stuff up. The swordfish looks good. Come on, buddy. Let's clean my tongs. Alrighty, swordfish, you look nice and glazed over. You grab yourself a nice piece of shrimp right off the grill. This one I bit in before just to try it out. It's still a little white inside. Mmm. Actually cooking it longer made it crunchy. Mmm. That's some good eating right there. Mmm. I could taste the bourbon in it. Got that nice special hit. Mmm. It's sweet. It goes down nice and smooth. The special glaze that I have. And I'm going to tell you all. Copy it. Take it. I don't care. Other than the hotness that's in it, whoo, getting that chili powder and that, that uh, cayenne pepper kicking me right in the tush. But, uh, oh man, it's so hot and it feels so good inside. The glaze is brown sugar, barbecue sauce, bourbon, and, um, barbecue sauce, brown sugar, bourbon, and maple syrup all mixed together up to your own amount. I don't, I don't, I don't go by cups and quarts and pints and two spoons and shit. I just go by the way it looks. I do probably five or six big squirts out of the bottle of barbecue sauce 
seven or eight seconds of of uh, maple syrup, brown sugar. I do about uh, when you get the big bag, it's about like yay big, about four or five inches from the well, no, four or five inches is big, probably about an inch and a half from the bottom of the bag, and then. Um, Bourbon, it's basically to the to how much you want to be in there. So probably about, when you want to get a number, probably about four or five shots of bourbon mixed in, stir it together, stick it in the fridge, stir it, because it's going to be thick in the morning. Boom! That shit is good. That's some good eating right there. So I'm going to enjoy this as a little appetizer before the fish cooks in, because the fish is still sitting around 106. We haven't hit 150 yet, so we got to keep that fish in there. Probably add some more wood, probably add some more charcoal into it because the temperature right now, we're looking at about 210. We want to get it back up to 250. It's a little cold outside, it's 30 degrees outside, so you got to start cooking yourself a little bit hotter.